everyone. I'm glad you're here. Here we go. Class number three. I hope that last week working on the, the sab first sabotaging thought I gave you um, was helpful. We're going to go even further. Let's get some more of that. We're going to go into another sabotaging thought. Um, it's just really, really common. And it's something that it's really easy not to even think out loud in your head. It's there and you just sometimes don't even notice that you're thinking it. Sometimes it's loud and clear. Let me give it to you. You ready? It's not fair. Or some version of it's not fair. And let me just say, for those of you all who might just be catching this video from me, we're into class number three of a deeper dive into weight loss. And we're looking just at finding fullness right now. So if you're, if you're catching me here, I want you to go back some ways. I want you to go back and look through the older videos, do the weight loss basics, um, get caught up in some of that, and then get go through the hunger series because that's key number one. You've got to get hungry in order to lose weight. I'm not asking you to torture yourself and you got to watch that series so that you understand what I'm talking about. But after you do that, then come back and do this finding fullness series, okay? Because this, this is step two, all right, in the big scheme of weight loss. So let me get you to this thought for this week, okay? It's the, it's not fair. And it's the, it's not fair that my friend over there can eat whatever she wants and not gain any weight. It's not fair that other people can have fast food and I want to be able to eat like a normal person. I don't want to have to eat like a bird and I don't want to... Um, have to starve myself forever. There's these thoughts that are in there just coming out, coming out, coming out. And when they come out, your brain goes, yeah, that's right. I don't want to do that. It's not fair. I shouldn't have to. Go on and get that cookie. Go on and get that burger. Go on and get that pizza, whatever, whatever it is. And here's the thing. Why isn't it fair? Why isn't what your body is asking you to do? Because when you gain weight, your body's saying, okay, you gave me too much. Now I have to put it away. And so I stored it. You gave it to me and I did something with it. But here's the thing. What you want is not to have that happen. So what's really not fair? What's really not fair is you making a commitment to yourself and violating it. What's really not fair is your body says, I need this much and no more. And you go, no, no, I want more. So I'm going to give you more. Now you work hard and put it away. What you want is magic. You want to eat whatever, everything, and not have it get stored. Unfortunately, unfortunately, really, that's not how the system works. That's not how the body works. So that's not going to work for us. If you think the thought, I want to eat like a normal person, and you believe that, here's why that doesn't work. Have you looked around at the United States population right now? I'm assuming most of you watching are in the United States. But even globally, the obesity epidemic is unreal, particularly in the United States. So if you want to look at what the average American is doing and eating, that you're going to get the result of obesity. That's where that goes. So you really don't want to eat like a normal person because most people in this country are overweight or obese at this point. And so if you eat like most people, that's where you will be. So I want to eat like a normal person. You're going to have to redefine what's a normal person. Maybe you go back, you know, 50 years or so and say, well, what, you know, what was more normal of any eating pattern at that time? But I think even more constructive than that is looking at what your body is asking for. Nobody, nobody knows exactly what your body is calling for better than you. Okay? So that it's not fair and I don't like it that it works this way and I want to eat like a normal person. They just work against you. They make it so much harder for you to say, you know what? Maybe normal people eat pastry every morning and cake after dinner every night. 
but I don't want to be normal because I don't want the result of what that gives me. For me, normal is eating in an eight hour window or eating in a six hour window. Normal for me is drinking a lot of fluids in the morning hours and eating you know, one major meal and one smaller meal or whatever you decide, whatever works. But what you know doesn't work is eating like a normal person who's overweight or obese because that's not what you really want, okay? So I hope that helps. We'll get to one of the big, last, sneaky, sabotaging thoughts next week, and that'll be class four. So I look forward to seeing you. Thank you for coming again. Bye.